Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Wednesday and I have your word for the day. Christy and I, our favorite television show is Judge Judy. Now it's funny because my grandmother used to love watching Judge Wapner on the People's Court and now, 30 years later, I watch Judge Judy. I, I love to watch the, the plaintiffs arguing with the defendants, people arguing with each other, each side presenting an argument, and sometimes they produce false witnesses. There's got to be something wrong with me. I, I love watching and listening to Judge Judith Scheinlin put people in their place. She just seems to have a nose for telling when people are being honest or when people are lying to her. And when she gets really worked up, when she gets really agitated, she shuts people down by telling them, I know you're lying because your lips are moving. God gives us a command about honesty in Exodus 20, 16. Very simply, God says that we must not testify falsely against our neighbor. The greatest thing we can offer to our neighbor is the truth. When we speak the truth, when we choose to be honest, when we choose to not be deceptive, we become more and more like God. After all, God is truth and lies are not true. The craziest thing about a lie is that a lie is designed to look like the truth and that's why it's so offensive to God. In the Gospel of John, Jesus called the devil the father of lies. When we lie, we are speaking the devil's native language. But when we speak truth, we are speaking the language of God. So what language do you speak? What is your native language? Have you trained yourself to speak honestly with other people? As a follower of Jesus, the most, one of the most important things that you and I can do is learn to speak, uh, speak God's native language and speak truth at all times. Learn to be truthful, rooted in love, and you will become a reflection of God to everybody around you because you're speaking His language. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, or leave a comment. God bless.